Hey, Laughter and Live here from TikTok, and um, I have a pretty big following over there, so let me tell you a little bit about myself here in this kind of welcome YouTube video that I'm going to do, because I'm going to try to post more videos on my content on YouTube for more people to enjoy who aren't necessarily on TikTok or may want a longer format um, into what I do and what I share. But let me share with you um, what a lot of my TikTok audience, over 200,000, close to 300,000 followers, um, know about me um, from the last two and a half years on the app. So I am a scientist. I got my PhD from a department of physiology and biophysics, but all of my publications and research and research grants have been in the field of immunologists. The field considers me, in book chapters I've written, um, field considers me more or less an immunologist. So really that's what I am. Um, I have worked in laboratories for over two and a half decades at this point, um, either in the capacity of running experiments all the way up to running the actual research itself. Um, my undergraduate degree is in biochemistry and molecular biology with a minor in chemistry, so I'm also well versed in those topics and happy to speak about them as well. And really why I joined TikTok and social media, I mean, if you'd asked me four years ago, would I be doing this? The answer would be no. Um, but why I joined was during the pandemic, I watched a lot of disinformation and misinformation um, be peddled by people who were grifting, people who are trying to grow their channel, people who are trying to get paid for what they were saying. And even well-meaning people would veer off into the land of being sensationalistic or grifters, and they were really misleading a lot of people in ways that were dangerous for their health and their livelihoods. So um, I will talk to you guys a lot about science, immunology. I'm happy to answer questions about that. Um, it's really, truly where I am an expert. Um, and let me give you a little more detail about my life. So um, as I was finishing up my postdoc, I was offered a an award of big large research grant to go on and start my own laboratory. I ended up turning that down because I wanted to go learn something new. I had the sense that I could write a good research grant. I could get it funded for a million plus. Um, and what I ended up doing was going to a very young startup company working with some amazing chemistry. Chemistry that has now won a Nobel Prize. Um, when I decided to move on, from that, um, what ended up happening was I founded my own company. I had a lot of ideas. I wanted to get to the marketplace as fast as I could. The primary focus was in the biomedical engineering space. When the pandemic hit, we had a change in course where we ended up using some of our technology to do rapid therapeutics development. SARS-CoV-2 just being one of the things we've worked on, but we can really tackle almost any disease now. And that is what I manage and what I work on day to day. So what can you expect from me on this channel here? So on my TikTok channel, I'm a little snarky. I post a little bit of quips, funny things. And um, here I plan to be a little more science focused and a little more deep diving to try to help you get through things that you may or may not understand or things that you're really just interested in learning. Um, I've done a lot of teaching all the way from the middle school level to the medical school level. I've taught med students. Um, I've taught PhD students. I've taught people in their post degree classes, so already have their PhD, already have their MD. And so I really do enjoy teaching and helping people understand things in a way that, that makes sense, in a way that will help you understand the world around you a little bit better. So I haven't really decided if I plan to take on misinformation and disinformation head on on this channel yet, or if I just plan to have it be educational. Um, it's very difficult as someone who, who understands this and does the research day to day, who's taught the classes, who has actually held things like a vial of SARS-CoV-2 in my hands, to ignore people who are telling you false information to your own detriment. Um, so that has been a difficult challenge for me, and I'm sure it has been for many other PhDs as well as MDs during this pandemic when they see people spreading disinformation and misinformation that can be harmful. Um, so I may consider doing that as well. I think that's very important for the integrity of the sciences and the integrity of the medical field to, to maintain um, a sense of what we understand as being real and knowledge and referencing back to, to real science and real understanding. You know, you can have arguments at the forefront of the field, but if you don't have data to back them up, they're no more than a fuzzy opinion. And so data, quality studies and, um, you know, real understanding of the basis of immunological systems is critical for um, classifying, 
and determining which information is best for you and how you can use that in your daily life. All right, so that's about it for this introductory video. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna look back on this and think it's awkward, the sound was terrible. It's not great, I know it's not. I'm not, not an audio video engineer, so I'll try to help you guys out and get it to be a little bit better. Um, but, you know, honestly, welcome. Um, we're gonna talk about a lot of topics here and I'm really looking forward to helping you navigate the headlines around different viruses, different diseases, and um, what's real and what's not.